Remember Wednesday when I was supposed to be in Hillsboro, Illinois, but I thought it was Hillsboro, Missouri, and we ended up at Olivet Diner? Well, I finally made it to Hillsboro, Illinois, to the sweet spot. Oh yeah. So, now that it's March, everybody's talking March Madness, except for Hillsboro, Illinois, where they're talking Munch Madness, thanks to Dylan Richter here at the sweet spot. Man, thanks for having us in. Thank you guys for coming in, and absolutely, we're excited for it. Yeah, how did this idea come about? So everyone's familiar with the tournament that happens in March. Uh, we figured we'd put our own little spin on it, involve candy in there. So what it is, single elimination bracket style tournament featuring 16 of our most popular candies. Uh, they go head to head in a weekly sales off. Whichever candy sells more moves on to the next round until a champion is crowned. A champion, I love that. So how can you get involved? Can people get online? Anyone can be a part of this competition. Absolutely, so we have brackets. You can find them at our website, trythesweetspot.com. Fill out a bracket for free. Uh, we have prizes for the highest scoring brackets, including a $10,000 grand prize if anyone submits a perfect bracket, including the score of the final week matchup. Woo! That's pretty impressive. $10,000? Right. Okay, let's talk about the bracket here because there's, you know, everybody, when you do bracketology, everybody's got a few things they question. First of all, mine isn't, I didn't make the tournament this year. I, What's I, your candy? Hot tamales. Hot tamales? There's yeah. always next year. Always next year. Yeah, yep. we can train. We can train. But these are what these are the ones that, are, that that have made the cut here. You the number 16 seed. Let's start there. The lowest seed. You think that's a dark horse? That Ramune soda has a chance to go all the way. That's right. Ramune soda with the marbles in it. They've got a shot. It's going to be tough. Laffy Taffy Bars and Ropes are a good opponent, and the east side of the bracket is no joke. There's some competitors in there, but you never know what could happen in March. There you go. Uh, Hammonds. A lot of people may not know Hammond's, but your folks here know it. Hammond's Chocolate Bars out of Denver. They have probably 18, 20 flavors, some crazy ones, pigs and taters, chicken and waffles. Uh, they are delicious. I think they have a chance to make a strong run. You're not going to get a, a prediction out of me for the winner. I can't do that as no, a proprietor, but they got a good chance. I got you. I got to think uh, uh, our photographer, Mike Border, is all about the big peanut butter cup. Big peanut butter cups. That is a bestseller in here. Uh, if they have a strong showing in the first couple rounds, I could see them going all the way too. I, here's, here's one of those interesting matchups for me in the tournament is one and nine. You got Hank's Cheesecake, but it's going up against the number one seed, Build Your Own Bag, which speaks to people's individuality. They can get whatever they want, but those cheesecakes, I don't know, that, that's a good matchup. It's going to be one to watch for sure. So we have a, a bulk wall with about 80 yeah. different options. You can make your own bag, mix and match. But even though that's the number one seed, Hank's is a formidable opponent. Uh, out of St. Louis, it's probably the most delicious cheesecake, not just St. Louis, nationally. And uh, there's a lot of flavors in there. I could see them doing a big upset in the first round. Yeah, there you see them by the slice right there. You'll also be selling whole That's right. cheesecakes, which could up the, up the ante a little bit there. And, and then, I, you know, another dark horse may be the, the only freeze-dried candy on the list right now. Freeze-dried, a newer one to the list. It's funny, we have them right there next to rock candy. Rock candy is one of the oldest candies there are, but freeze-dried a couple years ago, people started making freeze-dried candy, Skittles being the most popular version. Uh, those have a good shot at going a long way this year. Is there another matchup that you're really interested to see, uh, like, uh, like rock candy versus toilet candy? I was gonna say, don't sleep on toilet candy. <laughs> there some, it is. People, some people like to laugh, uh, but they're not happy about their number 12 seed and they're putting oh, up a stink about it. Yeah, they're making quite a stink. That's right. Watch yeah. them make a long playoff run this year. <laughs> I love that. You're going to update the bracket as it goes each, each, That's each right. week? That's right. Each week we'll update it once on Saturday mornings as the week is going and then uh, we'll announce the winner of each round Monday after the week concludes. I love this. Tell them one more time what's the website they can go to. Trythesweetspot.com. TryTheSweetSpot.com. Brackets are open till March 17th. Till March 17th. Try the sweet, sweet spot if you're here in Hillsboro, Illinois, too, because they've got the goods right here. All kinds of sweet stuff. Hey, keep it here. we got more coming your way. It's Fox 2 News, 9 a.m., Munch Madness. And, oh, by the way, he's got gear, too. Officially licensed merch. Pre-orders open now. Yeah!